go fishing. Oh, a slow session like this. Absolutely mint condition. Go. Nice mirror. 17 go. pound on the go. 19 pound seven. Look at that dark shit across the back. And go. 27 pounds on the nose. Hello and welcome to episode 38 and uh, for this episode I've just come down to my local pond just gonna have a quick day session uh, it's probably gonna be about eight nine hours fishing something like that um, not been here for a while fishing which is uh, a bit surprising really seeing this is lake is only just five minutes down the road from where I live but I had to look back on my old blogs to see how long it is since I fished here last and it was actually eight months ago when I was actually on the upper lake when I had my PB tench. Well, yeah, I can't believe it's been as long as eight months since I've actually fished here, but anyway, I might stop waffling. I'm not even fishing yet. I've got all my bits ready to go, so uh, well, I'm going to crack on. So, let's go fishing. Right then, guys, I'm going to run you through my uh, rigs, bait and tactics that I'm using for uh, this day session today. Right, we'll start off at, right at the bottom end with the bait. I'm using a 14mm Hinders Tangberry pop-up. Uh, it's a limited edition pop-up that Hinders are doing at the moment. So, and they're only a pound a pot. So, there we go. And what I've done when I got them home, I give them a boost. I've glugged them in the old faithful Hinders uh, beetle in there and they smell really fruity, really sweet and uh, they smell like they do the business okie dokie, right ok, Nash Fang Twister Hook, size 10 no shrink tubing on nothing those, those of you that know me, my regular viewers will know that I like to keep my rig simple so this is about as simple as you can get BB Split Shop just to keep the, the uh, pop-up pin down about 4 inch length of um, hook link, uh, supple braid, little tasker sinker halfway along just to keep it all pinned down, pellet shack, three ounce square pair lead and I've got that mounted on some um, drop down lead free uh, leader from uh, King of the Pond. Um, I was chatting to them and they sent me a free sample to give it a go so uh, this is it, very supple, it feels quite heavy for sort of lead free, it was very easy to splice and yeah quite happy with it so I'm going to give this a go today and uh, if I'm happy with how it fishes I'll be buying some of that so yeah that that's the uh, drop down lead free leader from King of the Pond, they're on the internet kingofthepond.com and on Facebook. So yeah, that's my rig. All well, that's going to be going into me all faithful PVA solid bag. And that's my tactics. Fishing exactly the same on both rods. The only difference is on the other rod I'm fishing a, a conventional um, uh, shocker rig on a quarter safe zone leader like you've seen me doing a million times before. I've only got this uh, drop down leader on one rod because it's it's the only bit of free sample they sent me. Right, I've got one rod cast out. Let's get this one in a PVA bag and get it cast out too. Right guys, just had my first fish on the first rod that I cast out. Not exactly what I was looking for. A snotty. Oh well, at least I can say I haven't blanked today but not exactly what I'm looking for, probably weighs about a pound and a half, but it's a fish I guess, at least I know the bait's working and the rig's working, one of these will pick your rig and bait up, you know a carp will, right, let's get it back, let's get that rod back out. Right then guys, so my second fish of the session, left hand rod this time but once again another little bream slightly bigger than the first fish I had I'd say 
not a lot bigger but still not the species I'm looking for but oh well let's get it back try and go for a cup right then guys I'm finally on the right species left arm rod go. Nice cracking stunning little common carp. Probably about the smallest common carp I've ever had out of this lake. Well, probably the smallest carp I've ever had out of this lake. I haven't weighed him but he's got to be three pounds tops I reckon. But absolutely mint condition. Look at Unscatter. Absolutely cracking scales. Nice fins. He's definitely one of the new fish that's up and coming in this lake, I think. I've never even seen this cup fall, I don't think. Uh, mint condition mouth. Oh, finally on the right species. Let's just try and get him about £10 bigger now. Oh, let's get him back. Right then, guys. Well, I'm uh, sitting here waiting for me... Uh, next fish if it comes the fodder update you with a couple of bits of uh, news regarding me uh blogging and what have you um the association i've got with hinders the that was on a oh, single bleep there yeah that was on that was first on a 12 month sort of trial period and um they've carried it on so um they obviously like my uh blogging work that i uh that i do and um yeah they've uh, carried on supporting me and uh so i'm still going to be uh, associated with hinders for uh, a while longer yet so i uh, just like to say uh cheers to the guys at hinders for uh supporting my fishing and supporting my blogs and what have you and also um i've now been sponsored by um Catch Carp PVA. Uh, as most of you know, watch me regularly. Most of my uh, fishing I do is uh, PVA bag work, and um, Colin at Catch Carp PVA has um, kindly uh, sponsored me from a PVA as well. So, um, I mean, I was using his PVA anyway. So, uh, so yeah. So he sent me a nice big bundle of PVA bags. So, uh, cheers, Colin. So. Um, Whenever I catch a, a decent sized carp, whenever that'll be, whether it's this session, next session, next session after, I, I don't know when. But as soon as I catch a decent sized carp, I'll do a guess the weight competition to give away some of that PVA. So that will all uh, be up and coming in the future. In uh, some future blogs, I've got a few newer tackle items that I'll uh, be going through and using and showing you but won't be this session it's all up and coming um so yeah that's about it really so yeah just really like to thank colin at catch cup for my pva sponsorship and thank the guys at indus for carry on supporting me and being associated with them so uh heading back to this session then i mean just, it's all right i've had a few fish so it's not been too bad. Incidentally, the first broom I had, some of you guys will remember that I'm trialling a red line in my fishing to see if it makes a difference in my fishing. Uh, the uh, first bream that I had was on the rod with the red line. So, um, yeah, that's all right. So, I mean, it'd be better if a cup was picking it up. So, it'd be the true test. But yeah, all good. I mean, those baits that I got from Inders that I've glugged in the beetle in seems to be doing a trick. Three fish. So, yeah, can't complain. To be honest with you, I thought I'd be blanking today anyway because I mean, basically we're still at the back end of winter so it's still technically a winter session. So I was basically just getting out of the house today really. So 
Anyway, yeah, I think I'll stop waffling on there. But hopefully next time I'm chatting to you, we have another fish on the bank. A carp and a bigger one. Well then guys, well, uh, after those uh, first three fish, <laughs> or last three fish, it's been, it's been a quiet session. I've had a multiple uh, recast, so there was a carp swimming around with its whole head out the water. Just out the water, just with its head out the water, just going along like that, just for a few feet, and then just sort of drop back down again. Shame wasn't filming in really, to get on film, it was uh, quite something to see really. <clears throat> this time of year they don't really do that here, but yeah, we've got a nice sight to see, looked a decent fish, so uh, new rod that I had fishing in the margins, I had uh, I cast it out further, so sort of nearer show fish. But uh, yeah, to no avail. I mean, I'll stop with the same bait, but it's caught. Cool. I mean, I've had a carp. It's just a lot smaller than what I, I wanted. A lot smaller than what I know is in here. That's for sure. You know, uh, I'm guesstimating it was about three pound, and I've had carp to twenty-five pound at this lake. So. But anyway, I've got about half hour, 45 minutes left of fishing uh, left. I mean, the sun is quite bright. You wouldn't think it's probably going to start getting dark in sort of 45 minutes time, but it is, uh, the sun's just on the horizon now, and once it drops down, then the rules on this lake state, you can only fish daylight hours, so... Yeah, so I've got about 45 minutes of fishing left for... I'm going to call it a day for filming-wise there, yeah, unless anything happens in the next 45 minutes but thanks for watching this uh, short day session and I will catch you in my next video bye bye